Hi everyone. I'm going to talk to you now about something that is very sad. It's something that many of us face at different times in our lives. It's death. And why I want to talk about death is because it's something we should talk about. You know, and, and we should try and bring some joy into it, especially if you have a loved one that is going to die and you know they are going to die. But we don't want to face death at all. We don't want to talk about it. I always remember this young woman saying to me, Lorna, you know I'm going to die. I have four stage cancer and they have said there is no hope. And she had such a smile on her face. And she said, my family won't talk about death. It's like as if they avoid it all of the time. And I want to talk. I want them to share with me how they feel with my upcoming death. And I said to her, you know, it's probably very painful for them and painful for you and they don't want to hurt you by talking about it because they love you. And I always remember her saying, I know they love me and I love them too, but I would love them to share. I'd love to hear from them what they want to share with me before my death. When I can still hear them clearly and see them because I'm not afraid of death, she said. I know it's going to come and I know I'm going to go to that place called heaven and I'm going to feel so much peace and love. And she just said, and because of you, Lorna, now I know my guardian angel will accompany me. And even the souls of loved ones that have gone before me. And I said to her, who has gone before you? And she turned around and said, my little friend, when I was a child, my friend died all of a sudden, unexpected. And she said, nobody talked to me about death, even at that time. And I really needed to know a little bit more. But I would love my family to talk to me before my death and how they feel. So if you have someone in your family or a friend, don't be afraid to say to them, I want to talk to you about death because I know it's coming. And I want to say to you all the things I need to say. I always remember someone else telling me, you know, they spoke to their father, you know, he was going to die. They had all faced it. But no one spoke to him about death. And she said it was at the last minute. We, in a sense, love our dad so much that we were around his bed at that last moment. And she just said, you know, we gave out to dad because we told him we didn't want, want him to die but we didn't want him suffering anymore. 
and she said, her dad opened his eyes and looked at them all and just said to them, there's no reason to be afraid of death. It's okay. I already feel so peaceful and so relaxed. I know it's time to go. And even in those few moments just before their father's death, seemingly one of the other siblings turned around and just said to their dad, well, dad, when you get there, um, you've got to give us a sign or two to let us know that you're okay. And I, I always say we shouldn't leave it till the last moment to talk about death. Because when that sibling had said that, just a few words came from their father. He just said, I love you and closed his eyes. And he was gone. And it's that part of death that none of us want to talk about or none of us want to face. But it's like, if you know someone you love or care about or a best friend, it could be anyone, don't leave it till the last moment. Ask your loved one, can you talk about death with them? Because you're going to miss them so much. You're going to feel so lonely. And you know you're going to go through a hard time. And I bet you anything, your loved one won't mind. Your loved one will say to you, it's okay to talk about death because it's something we all have to face at some times in our life. I always remember this mother and she had a son and he was killed in a car crash. And she had said to me, Lorna, if we only had known that Death was impending, my son, that it was going to happen shortly. We would have spent more time with him and talked more. And we would have told him we loved him over and over again and again. And she just said, because we got no warning of death, we took it for granted that, you know, we might grow old, but he would grow up and marry and everything like that. So again, it is important or it's very important to have it on your consciousness in the sense that, you know, you have today, your loved ones are around you. And in just in case, that death knocks on the door for one of them. It's so important to let them know you love them. And how would I say, it's not important in the way that you expect because they will know that. But it's important for you as a human being to have told them that you love them. And all our loved ones are okay when death comes. But don't be afraid to talk about death. Don't be afraid to even bring it up as, an, as a discussion. And I know so many people are so afraid because they just say, oh, well, I can't talk about that. You know, that will upset my friends or my family. But I think more and more people are talking about death in the sense, you know, I maybe you don't notice the ads on the TV, you know, 
um, what is it to do with a will or to leave your family money um, to help them out. Again, that's a way of talking about death as well. But I think the most important thing is when that time comes, there is no fear. Your guardian angel takes that soul straight to heaven and they can be back and around you within, it's like the same second. It's something I can't explain. But we do need to talk about that a little bit more. Like it's like, you know, this young boy that, you know, no one talked about that to him. And even though he knew his mom was critically ill, but no relative came and talked to him. And when death did come for his mom, he was literally devastated. And even afterwards, you know, no one came again to talk to him. And I know that young man suffered for years because he said he didn't know his mom was okay. He didn't know where she was. And he just said, until someone gave me your book, Angels in My Hair. And he said, you know, that gave me so much understanding about death. And even though it's not a book on death as such, it's a book on life, it's about you. But it helped this young teenager. And I think it's really important even to talk to teenagers, especially if a parent is sick or a sibling or, you know, someone that they're close to in the family, to explain to them that even when death comes, their loved one, the person they love, will be okay and they will have gone to heaven and they will be completely at peace. And that's the very important thing to remember. And maybe that's enough to talk about death today. But if you have a loved one and you know, everyone in the family knows how sick this person is. Ask them, can you talk about death? Because you're going to miss them. You know, and you're going to miss them and that's going to really hurt. And you need to talk about that because maybe you will say to them, I want to make sure that you somehow spiritually come back and give me a sign and let me know you're okay. Because that's the thing that we fear. We fear that, you know, when someone dies, they're lost. You know, maybe they haven't gone to heaven, but I can assure you, every soul goes to heaven. You have nothing to worry about in, in that way, about your loved one. So if you have a loved one, maybe ask them, in some gentle way, can you talk about death? Because you're going to miss them. And don't be afraid to tell them all you want to tell them. Heal everything and just love them. So I'm going to say God bless and love you all. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.